sure it's tied down, sir. Hey, Ted, look for somewhere, will you, son? Well, Charlie, I'm ready to close that deal. How about you? You sure, Jess? You real sure? I'm sure, Charlie. Got a pen? You did. Your place, sir. It'll always be partly yours, Jeff. And this is at least to us. Oh, 15,000's there, Jess. Just want to be sure, Charlie. I've been dealing with you for so long, I don't want to be cut short. You wouldn't cut me short, would you, Charlie? No. Uncle <laughs> Charlie. It's all loaded and ready to go, Dad. Okay, son. Hey, right, sweetheart. We won't make Sunday dinner out of Minerva, okay? Charlie, take care of yourself. Let us know how Jimmy does. Come along, Charlie. Come along, Jeff. Just show them how I'm sensing that. Honey, have you heard the news? I've paid up all my union dues. Like a bird that flew when lightning struck I'm breaking out and I'm moving up If the creek don't rise and I don't die We'll live on steak and apple pie Doing without just never stuck I'm getting mine and I'm moving up I'm moving up a little higher, breaking all the chains at home. I may not be a big high flyer, but there's freedom in my soul. I've got open eyes and mind, and the love of man and womankind. It'll work out with a little luck. And I'll be all right, cause I'm moving up. I'm moving up a little higher, breaking all the chains at home. I may not be a big high flyer, but there's freedom in my soul. I've got open eyes and mind, and a love of man and womankind. It'll work out with a little love, and I'll be all right cause I'm moving up. Surgical release. Read and sign it, please. Dr. Thunderberg told us all about it. Where did I put my name? Here? Yes. And now I need your insurance card. I pay cash, ma'am. Anything else is charity to my mind. I don't need charity. But, Mr. Hallam, we don't require payment in advance. Well, the doc said it might be $14,000, maybe more. Count operation in the hospital for two months. He said, if we don't get it done, oh, my gin going to grow up to be all humped over and breathless. So I come prepared to pay the whole shebang. And that's yours to draw on so long as you have to. And that way I know my baby's treated right.
How many kids go to this school, do you think, Daddy? Awful big. Well, uh, not too big for you, son. Water off a duck's back. Consolidated High. Is that down in Kentucky? Yes, ma'am. Tenth grade. Well, of course. It's a rural school. Your son will be given some tests here, Mr. Allen, to indicate to us which level he's on. If you'll fill out this form, as soon as we get the information there, then Theodore can start right in. There's no need for him to miss any more school than he has to. Looks as if he's ready for gym, though, anyhow. Track. Oh, I see. Well, I really don't have time for this. I got to go looking for a job. Well, it really won't take that much time at all. It's not detailed. I bet you know this town pretty good. You know where I can find a job? Doing what? Anything. Doesn't matter. Anything except dog holding in a coal mine like I've been doing since I was 12. Well, there's some big plans out in Norwood. Route 71. There's always the wholesale produce market. But that's unskilled labor. But you can always try down there. There's Gallucci's, my father's warehouse. He's always looking for some help. Well, you fill this out, Ted. I gotta be going. Hey, Ted. Run like a deer. where I apply for work? That's what the sign says. Oh, yeah. Fill this out. Then you take our personnel exam, then we file your application. And if something comes up to fit, we'll call you. Exam? What for? Aptitudes, you know. Everybody's got aptitudes. The exam shows us what you can do. Well, now you just put me to work, and you'll see what I can do. Mister, if you want a job here, this is the procedure. Daddy won't 
Won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train done hauled it away. When I was a child, my family would travel back to western Kentucky, where my parents were born, to a backward old town that I often remember so many times that my memories are warm. Then sometimes we'd travel on down the Green River to the abandoned old prison down by Adrie Hill. Where the air smelled like snakes and we'd shoot with our pistols But empty pop bottles was all we would kill Oh, Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County Down by the Green River where paradise lay I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking Mr. Peabody's coal train done hauled it away I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train done hauled it away. I did the mile at 4.30, Daddy. Can you believe it? You should have seen the look on the coach's face. Man, that track's like one of them clowns after what we had at Muhlenberg. Hey, what's the crumbs eat at the table, son? Are you going down to Norway after a job again today? No, I don't think so. I about fished it out last week. Redding and Lachlan, all the way out to Sharonville. It's either a union shop or they're not hiring. Surely somebody in this area has got something to suit your daddy's style. I gotta go back to the hospital, too. The doctor called and talked to me about something. I don't know what. Hey, Daddy, this is some operation. You know, one slip of the knife. Ted, don't talk like that. Well, I gotta go, Dad. Hey, it's an hour to school. I know, but some of the team runs mornings, too. I figure I'll get to know the guys better. Hey, Daddy, you know what? Some of the guys on the team, they drive their own cars. Yeah? Your time's coming, son. Hey, so much money. Maybe you shouldn't have paid the rent two months in advance. Payday's just around the corner, son. How'd the test go last week? I don't know. Well, don't let that big school buffalo you, son. You're gonna be all right. Okay. Hey, better luck, Daddy, okay? Hi, sweetheart. How's it going? Okay, I guess. Hey, now what's this? Why do I have to have dumb scoliosis? It's gonna be tomorrow. I'm gonna be operated. I know, honey. Dr. Funderburg told me all about it. But he says all the tests show that your health is a horse. But I've been stuck in bed off and on the whole week. And it'll be all the time afterwards. Hey, remember what we said now. You gotta have patience. And it'll help if you're as stubborn like your old dad. You know what the doctor said? He said he's gonna put a steel bar in my back. And I'm sorry, Daddy. He says it won't rust or anything. Well, it better not. No cheap goods for us Hallams. Sweetheart, if I could have that operation for you, you know I'd do it three times over. If there's anything I could do for you to help you, you know what? Daddy, could you? I mean, I can't hold a book. And, well, I know it was Mama always used to read to me, but couldn't you do it a little while? Well, 
for, honey. <clears throat> I got so much to do. I got to look for work. I got a lot of people to see. I just don't have time. I'll be back tonight, okay? I promise. Tall and straight and gorgeous. That's what my gym's gonna be. You just think about that, all right? Bye, sweetie. I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train done hauled it away. The coal company came with the world's largest shovel. They tortured the timber and stripped all the land. They dug for the coal till the land was forsaken, then rolled it all down to the progress of man. When I die, let my ashes float down the Green River. Let my soul roll on up to the Rochester Dam. I'll be halfway to heaven with paradise waiting five miles away from wherever I am. Oh, Daddy, won't you take me back to Muhlenberg County, down by the Green River where paradise lay? I'm sorry, my son, but you're too late in asking. Mr. Peabody's coal train done hauled it away. You're too late in asking, Mr. Peabody's cold train done hauled it away. Hi. Any work here? Does it look like it to you? No, it looks like some kind of happy hour to me. I hear some place called Galucci's might be hiring. Where's that? You passed it coming down Produce Street. You're just off of the hill and out of the holler, ain't you? You want a job? Go back where you come from. Mister, there's work here, night work, lumping. What's lumping? Loading, unloading produce. Market opens around 5 in the morning. What you gotta do, you gotta hang around. And when the trucker hollers for a lumpin', you gotta jump, or you get beat out. No offense, but lumpin' sure sounds like what it is. And you ought to know the, uh, pain all that, Rich. Thanks anyway. <laughs> Seven months. 
My wife always took care of that. Seven months. You can see for yourself. You're driving illegally in Ohio and Kentucky. Oh, man, you're not worth the jail space. Well, that's 95 bucks for the double violation. There, sign it. You can mail it in. But don't let me catch you driving without a valid license on this side of the river again. The next time, I won't be so easy on you. Where do I get it? I mean, uh, an Ohio license. You can read all about that in the driver's handbook. You get one at the license bureau. What are you doing home so early? What about you? I thought you had practice. I got kicked out. Out of school and off the team. Hey, come back here. Ted, what did you do? Don't you know better than to cause trouble in a new school? I didn't, Daddy. It was them dumb tests. They say I can't read good enough. I gotta go back to ninth grade. That's junior high. That's a different school, Daddy. And you're from Kentucky. Oh, I've been getting it, too. But not my boy. That principal keep hours after school? I guess so. Get your track shoes and let's go. I'm sorry, the principal's not in. Oh, yeah? May I help you? I want to talk to you. Miss Gallucci's our vice principal. Gives testing. Okay. She'll do just fine. Can we use that office? Certainly. Wait out here, Ted. Find Mr. Schofield for me, will you? Sure. Ted tells me that you're putting him back in junior high and for no good reason. That's not true. I demoted him because his score indicates a level four. My boy passed every grade all his life. What's the matter? Kentucky school's not good enough for you. Mr. Allen, whether the school is in Kentucky or Timbuktu has nothing to do with it. Each system has its own standards. Bull. No, not bull. Perhaps his old school passed him through because of his athletic abilities, but Ted is not in this school to learn to run. Your son reads far beneath ninth grade level. Given his age, we're only dropping him back one year. We do care about the whole child here. I've seen my boy with the schoolwork. I know Ted can read. Have you ever once looked at his homework? Mr. Hallam, I'd like to introduce you to the principal of Harding High, Mr. Schofield. Excuse me. I want my boy back in here. Now, what do you people expect? He comes into your new high-toned school here, Mr. has to Hallam. take a bunch of tests the first week. He's scared to death. Mr. Hallam, I'll explain if you'll listen a she moment. She just did. Talking about the whole child. It's not enough that I have to take the boy out of the only home he ever had. Bring him to a strange place. He's just getting used to it, and you won't throw him out. It's two months till school's out. Ted would make it if you'd give him half a chance. All right. But if Ted doesn't measure up, back he goes. At least the track coach will be pleased. Well, Ted sure can run. And he'll do his schoolwork. I'll see to that. Hey, Ted. You're back in. Don't give me all the credit. You're some runner, you know. Man. You see the look on Miss Gallucci's face? Hey, Ted. Never mind, son. Just do your schoolwork, all right? Now go on, you're late for practice.
Mr. Gallucci? Yeah. You a lumper? I paid 20 bucks for half a load. You want it? Yes, sir, I sure do. Come on. Where have you been? I got me a lumper. Sure, too late. I hire him. 11.50 a box of top grade apples. I'm taking 20 bucks for him off the top of your bill. Huh? Yeah. Man, I'm not telling me serious. Well, move it. yourself a tenor. I, I checked the order. He's got, he's got them on the truck now. Hey, here he comes. I'll call you later. Wiener's market called. They ordered three flats of mushrooms. They're not two. You right. understand? Yeah. Not two. All right. Nice. Mr. Galucci, I spilled a box of apples. So spill them back in the box, okay? Well, Mr. Galucci, you ought to top grade. You didn't get top grade. You got storage apples and they're wormy. Hey! Hey! Best Carolina apples, huh? Last summer's Michigan's. You switched them on me. It's not what I ordered. They stink. You want us to call a federal inspector, huh? Huh? Now get out of here. I got four crates back there. Yeah, you wait, please. Thirty bucks for your trouble. Now get out. Go on. Uh, Tony, you call my Mariana. You fight. No doctor needs, huh? Now get back to work. Treat an old man like that. Now you move it. You all right? Yeah, I'm okay. Doc, he says I get upset too much. So you know what he gives me? Nitroglycerin. Someday I blow myself up altogether. I like the way you dump bad apples. You know the good and bad of vegetables, too. Yes, sir. I raise my own food in Kentucky. Why you lumping? Eh? You like me. You're too old for lumping. Almost. Your mother of God, would my Mariana tell me that if I let Tully call her? Tully, he don't know nothing from quality. Eh? Now, who's going to check the load? And with drivers like that, I don't got the time. That is stupid. Old. I. I give you five bucks an hour, seven hours a day, six days a week, huh? All right, some lump and sure. You gotta move the produce, but you check the quality, you make deliveries, and things like that. Huh? You want it? The job with me? Yes, sir, Mr. Gallucci. I'm, I'm Jesse Hallett. Yeah, right? come on, I'll show you around the place. Come on. Um, Mr. Gallucci. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, well, Sal, about today, I can't work past seven this morning. Well, you, you just started now already. You want a holiday? No, sir, it's not for me. It's my, it's my little girl, you see. She's at Children's Hospital and going to be operated on today, and, well, I got to be there. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, sure, sure. You, you're going to make good care of your little girl, huh? A little girl is eh, quite extraordinary, huh? I know. <laughs> Come on, come on, I'll show you around the place and then you go to the hospital. Okay. Come on. It's been over four hours. The doctor never said it'd take this long. Maybe something went wrong. 
Hey, Ted, why don't you go back to school? Oh, not yet, Dad. Jim's gonna be all right. I know she's just gonna pull through this just fine. When it's over, she's okay tonight. You and I ought to go celebrate, you know what? Take in a movie or something. We've hardly said more than hello or goodbye since we got here. I, uh, I got some other plans, Daddy. I mean, if Jen's okay. Some with the team? No. No, those guys, they... They think I run okay, you know. <laughs> like they keep saying it. I've been running up and down some briar hollow all my life. But... No, it's, it's this kid in the homeroom. He's got a set of wheels and... Uh, he said if I wanted to, I'd go with him and some other guys and I can kind of cruise around. What about homework? Well, it's Friday I got all weekend. Mr. Hallam? Yes, ma'am. Okay, little darling. You'll be all right. The doctor said you did just fine. He said you grew two inches. Laying right on the table. Daddy. What, baby? It hurts, Daddy. I know it does, honey. It hurts awful. But it will quit pretty soon. And Daddy will be right here with you. I'll be right here, baby. Doc says we gotta give Jen about five months to heal up, and then after that. Hey, looks like an old fashioned farmer's market back home. Some farmers are sure. Some are like me, old push carters who don't know when to quit. Don't pay me the gas to come here, but it's nice. Table. Any place special? Sure, what do you think? Where my name is, down the street there. You don't read good. Bring the table. a man you try to learn. You less a man you don't. When I come to America, I not to read Italian. Forget English. I, I, at 16, I'm in New York. I go to school with babies. I learn more fast than them, I tell you. Yeah, but everybody knows you can't teach an old dog new tricks. It, it's not true. I tell my Mariana, is she fine to make good lessons for you? Huh? Well, I thought you might have hurt you, and I didn't exactly hit it off you. That's just my Mariana's bad Italian temper. With me, too. All the time she shouts, you're too old for this business. The truth is, she don't want Italian to pop. She want a nice, retired American pop. 
Si no, no more Mariana. Mariana finito. Since uh, 12 years old, she call herself Marian. But she got good brains. Ah, you, you want to work for Sal Gallucci. You must learn to read and write. Benito, I, I speak to her for you. Huh? Oh, no. No, I speak to her myself, if I decide to. Mr. Allen, did you want to see me? Please come in. You know I work for your daddy now. Well, I respect him. And he said he thought that you might be able to fix up some lessons. I can't read nor write. Are you totally illiterate? Well, now, what kind of dumb question is that? That's like asking, are you totally pregnant? I'm sorry. I never took any reading prizes, okay? <laughs> well, now you're fine state of Ohio says I gotta pass a written test in this manual to get my driver's license. Oh, they'll let you take that test orally. Ted could help you with the manual. He could use the reading practice. Now, Ted, Ted's not to know anything about this, all right? How soon can I get the lessons? It takes time to learn to read. If it were easy, there wouldn't be 25 million adult functional illiterates in this country. It's plain hard work. Nobody ever accused me of being afraid of hard work. All my life, I wanted to read. I can find your literacy lessons. Let me check into when and where, and I'll call you. Thanks, Miss Colucci. Mr. Allen. Yes? May I ask you a personal question? How have you managed this long? You lie a lot. You get cheated some. You wrap yourself in a sweet cocoon like Muhlenberg County, Kentucky, and you fake it. But up here, no way. I'm telling you, it's on the wrong side. It's backwards. Home don't look like that. It's my picture, not yours. Why'd you come to see me, anyhow? Tell me I'm wrong. You only come when Daddy makes you. You feel like going to Francis. How do you stand it, sis, all this? I have to, don't I? Yeah, well, I don't. Well, I wish I didn't either. You sure are in a bad mood. Wait till you have to go to school here, Kay. At least down in Muhlenberg, there was folks. The way Daddy talks, I thought you liked everything. Yeah, sure. I got no right to complain. One look at you, and I know that. I see you.
You can let the dishes drain in the sink if you want to, Ted. Jenny said you came by to see her today. She looks good, huh? She like mommy's. Going back to the hospital again? How'd your mile go today? Did you break your 4.30? I ran this morning. That was plenty. Coach thinks so, too. Don't you have homework? I don't know damn all about homework. What kind of talk is that? You don't talk to me that way in this house. I got study hall tomorrow. You know, you spend all your time with her and you take it out on me. How I gotta stay in all the time and how we don't get to see each other all that much anymore. I'm not going to the hospital, Ted. I got a prospect for a job for two nights a week. I gotta go check it out. And what am I supposed to do? Stay here all by myself in this cruddy place? You know what we gotta do, son? We gotta go find us a fishing hole and go bass fishing again. Have some fun like we used to. Just you and me. We'll do it too, real soon. Sure, Dad. The secret of learning to read is drill, drill, drill. First, we memorize our letters. Then we learn to recognize them in words. Then we memorize the words. And only then can we read. Now open your books, class. Here's our very first letter, A. A is for apple. Say it, class. A is for apple. B. B is for bear. B is for bear. C. C is for cat. C is for cat. Now we turn the fourth page and we come to D. D is for? Dog. dog. Right. D is for dog. Take your pencils in hand, please. You hold a pencil like this. While I write our first new letters on the board, I want you to write them on your pad. You start from the top down, always. Good ma'am, Miss Kleeman. I can count off my letters like I can count off my numbers, and I don't need any practice holding a pencil. I can even get the start of some words, but I was hoping that I might be able to learn to read a few words right away. Can you write, sir? Just my name. I see. Like making a picture. It really is best if you learn to read and write simultaneously. I know how hard it is not to be impatient, but you must realize that since we meet only twice each week, it will be a year, even two, before you're reading and writing well. I wouldn't take any bets on me being in this town that long, unless I'm in jail. <laughs> okay. If that's the way it is. I'm needed at home. Thank you, ma'am.
breakfast, Papa. Why do you not do what I ask? Teach Jess. Papa, please drop it. Drop this conversation. I have not taught in years. And it takes a very special skill to teach an adult illiterate. I don't have that skill. You're so smart, you can't learn how. Your breakfast is getting cold. Papa, I have a job. I have a responsibility. And I'd like to live my own life, please. What kind of life is that, anyhow? Mariana, my Mariana. You go to school, you push papers all day. You come home, cook my dinner, cook my breakfast, you go back and push more papers. What kind of life is that? Since your Paul died, you stop teaching. You have no joy, no laugh even. You die too, like him. Oh, but that's not true. That's nonsense. I moved up, that's all, to administration. And I think you should be very proud of me. Besides, nobody cares anymore anyway. I don't want to teach and stand at the head of the classroom all day long screaming for attention. You lose the good students anyway. But you don't care neither, huh? You go be Maria Angelucci, vice principal. Papa, I changed my name to Marion when I was a little girl. <laughs> it stuck. What can I do? Oh, I... You listen to me, Mariana. This Jess is not a kid in school. He cares. Jess is a man for me. You tell me I need somebody. I need Jess. Him and me, we, we... Well, how do you say? We... You connect. All right. I'll find him a private teacher. No, not any teacher. You. Eat your breakfast. It's cold. <sighs> yes, come in. Good morning, Mr. Allen. Good morning. Your daddy said you found a teacher for me. Yes. If you'd like to sit down, we'll get started. Well, you didn't say it was going to be you. There was no other volunteer. No, I can't ask that. You don't understand. To volunteer me. I understand English, Miss Gulich. It's your volunteer time that worries me. There's no way that I could ever repay you. <sighs> Mr. Hallam, I have spent 15 hours over this past weekend with the Literacy Council learning how to teach you. You will sit here, and we will begin. Please. Thank you. This is lesson one. This is chart one. This is a bird with a long tail and a round body. Say bird. Say bird. Bird. Good. This looks like a bird with a long tail and a round body. Say bird. Bird. This is the word bird. Read bird. Bird. Very, very good. The word bird begins with the sound ba. Ba. Say ba. Ba. Good. Again. Ba. Ba. Again. Ba. Ba. Miss Gallucci, how's this going to be faster than the other class you sent me to? Well, for one thing, we're going to meet more days a week. May I continue? Yeah, and then when you turn on the next page, it's going to be A for apple, right? Wrong. Apple isn't until the fourth lesson. And it isn't A for apple. It's A for apple. And bat and cat. It would help me if you just explain what's going on here. All right. I'm prepared for that. There's a bird. Here's the bee. Now, when you see this in print, it will remind you of the picture, which will remind you of the sound ba. And that, along with all the other sounds that you will learn here, will help you to sound out any new words you see. You already have a million words in your mind. You're an adult, not a child learning to read. 
So you have to sound out the word and then match it in your mind with the word you already know. And then you'll be reading. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. This is the law box system. And it lets you find your own speed. Would you like to try it yourself then? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to give one to you right here. So right. try it yourself. Right? And this is, that's like that, see? Uh, this is a cup sitting up on its edge, unless you've got the picture turned wrong. No, I have it turned right. Sir. That's it. That's right. Cuh. 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 Very good. Really. Do you want to do another one? This is a boy with his arms up. And this is the letter U. And it's pronounced uh, uh. In uh. Right? Right, very good. Uh, 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 uh. You have gone through 23 initial letters. And I think that's really well done, Mr. Allen. And you're remembering the key words. It's really wonderful. I'd like to give you a word to read. Read this word. You can do it. done it. You just read, really read, your first word. That's wonderful. Promise. You ever see such hen scratches? The rate I'm going, your Mariana's gonna be giving me lessons till doomsday. She worries about that? That's my fishing tackle. I keep hoping I'll get to take my boy fishing some Sunday. Oh, I don't know if she worries about it or not. She seems to think I'm a fast learner sometimes. What worries me is how I'm gonna pay her back. Take her out some night. Why not? Hey, you crazy? What's the matter? You rob a bank or something, you gotta hide from a cop. Well, get us out of here, huh? from the police. You got trouble or something? No, it's just that he's the one cop in this town knows I don't have a license. Why well, you no tell me? Your truck needs new shocks. What am I gonna do? Say no, we can't deliver? Yeah, no deliver. Better go zip, 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 and then crash. <laughs> so I gotta get that license. Down in Muhlenberg, my brother-in-law fixed me up in no time. He's county clerk. This manual's written at eighth grade level. Well, why don't you make a word list like we've been doing? I'll memorize it. Words like intersection, violation, obstruction, it's too difficult. It's not only that. They make these tests far trickier than they have to be. Even I had to take mine twice. Even you, huh? You win. <laughs> I'm just an old chunk of coal. But I'm gonna be a diamond someday. 
I'm gonna grow and glow till I'm so blue, pure, perfect. I'm gonna put a smile on everybody's face. Oh, but I'm gonna kneel and pray every day, lest I should become pain along the way. I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord, but I'm gonna be a diamond someday. I'm gonna learn the right words to talk. I'm gonna search and find a better way to walk. I'm gonna spit and polish my old rough edge itself until I get rid of every single flaw. Oh, I wanna be the world's best friend. I'm gonna go around shaking everybody's hand. I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord, but I'm gonna be a diamond someday. I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord, but I'm gonna be a diamond someday. Sleep over my homework. Ever since yesterday? Well, Ted had a track meet and I'd already missed too many. Besides, I came by to tell you, but you weren't in your office. Really? Well, you could have let me know it. Well, didn't you think of that? Would you believe old Galucci Magucci with a boyfriend? Poor guy must be desperate. What? Well, <laughs> yeah? Did she call you about something about me? No. No, I didn't, Ted. Your father and I were going to have a cup of coffee together. Ted? Ted? Yeah, um... Come late for track anyway, okay? I often wondered what I'd do if that ever happened. I guess I didn't have a clue. How about that cup of coffee? Well, all right, Mr. Hallam, as long as I can change it to a chocolate shake. Well, I'll buy you a chocolate shake if you won't call me Mr. anymore, all right? Okay, Jess. Best chocolate shake you ever tasted. You know, Jen, I've been doing some planning. When you get out of here, get good and strong, the three of us are going to a Reds game, and we're going to watch old Johnny Bench break his own record with another homer. Couldn't we just go back home, Daddy? Honey, it's not our home anymore. It's Uncle Charlie's. Any pictures in here? Sure. I'd like the movie, Daddy. Where's the device? I'm too old for it, really. But it's neat. This where you are, right here? Mm-hmm. In the middle of the forest. Are you going to read to me, Daddy? <laughs> well, don't look at me like that. I mean, what's so unusual about a daddy reading to his little girl? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. They saw running toward them two great beasts with Bodies like bears and heads like t tigers. They are the Kel Kel I Kel I. I know I never heard that word before. <laughs> the Kelis, Daddy. They're monstrous and dreadful beasts. Oh, I see. Okay, they are the Kelis said the cowardly lion. So this is more like it, huh? Yeah. I sure been missing it, Daddy. You too? Yeah, of course. Hey, too. 
kid, remember that time down on the Green River we were fishing? You hung that bass, he jerked you off the bank right into water. <laughs> you come out looking like a drowned mouse. Yeah. I've been missing a lot of things back home, Daddy. Well, takes some getting used to, you know. New faces, new friends, and a strange place. Guess you'd know about that, wouldn't you? Old Galucha Magucha, she'd take a whole lot of getting used to. Hey, quit it now. Don't make fun of Miss Galucci. She's one of the few good things that have come my way lately. Well, I guess you really like it out here, don't you, Dad? Yeah, I like it all right. And that fine new life is just around the corner. I promise. That's... Hey, you got one. I think so. <laughs> Don't get wet again. <laughs> go on up Cripple Creek, go on and run. Go on up Cripple Creek and have a little fun. Do, 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 do. Avocado 180. Check. Banana 47. Check. Tuba garlic 163. Check. Ginger root 147. Check. Had some fun too. What do you think of that? Bravo, bravo. Go on up, Cripple Creek. I mean, it's like I've been standing still, but today I think I moved ahead just a little bit. <laughs> you think you know how to dance, Jack? Back in my village in Italy, on a moonlight night, musica, wine, and the soft women. I tell you, just nothing in the world like Italia for soft women. They know how to dance. Così. <laughs> Maybe so, Sal. But you never saw a pretty long, tall, slim mountain girl stomping her foot and shaking the roof down, swinging that body around and that long, sweet smell of hair falls across your face. <laughs> Go on up, Cripple Creek, go on up, Cripple Chicago broker's on the phone. That crook. He's the one who delivers wilted lettuce. So go tell him. Ma, you, you know better than me now what comes in here, huh? You fire him, you want to. Yes, sir. Go on up Cripple Creek, go on up, go on up Cripple Creek and have a little fun. Ding, 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 Have you seen a print of this somewhere before? Huh. Another one. Of a cowboy. We called it the cowboy, anyway. My mama cut the picture out of a magazine, and my daddy put a frame around it, and it hung over my bed till it just faded away. But it was the same painter. Frederick Remington. No doubt about that. Same light, color, and like it's alive. Now, that's dumb. What? That picture. All those feathers tied to that fishing hook. Nobody fishes for largemouth bass with dry flies. You use a plug or a popping bug or 
Live minnows, and that's a large mouth bass if I ever saw one. Well, what difference does that make? I mean, you look at the brushwork, and you saw it in the Remington. Look for the color. Hey, but what's the, what's the point of painting a picture that's not true? Yes, please, for heaven's sake. Well, I mean, it just seems dumb to me that that painter went to all that trouble to paint a picture about something that he knew absolutely nothing about. See this? That's what you use for largemouth bass. That's beautiful. Can you buy these? Mm-hmm. But it's more fun making them yourself. Hmm. Just a little something I do when everybody else is reading. <laughs> this the other day. I think it's the right choice. Some kind of picture? Well. Welcome. Just take me a minute to find it, you know. I think I know where it is. You and your daddy, you read all these books? Yes, more or less. Hmm. Ah. I love this room. I love these books. A thousand different worlds. All ready and waiting. Can you imagine? A thousand different lives. Now they can be yours too. Other places, other times. New thoughts. Isn't that wonderful? Well, here's your first novel. By Ernest Hemingway. I chose it for you. The old man and the sea. What's that? Written words aren't just a code that you have to decipher, Jenny. They speak. They have voices. They paint colors, even. Just like that painting we saw today by Frederick Remington. I hope you like it. I hope you read it. You can, Jess. It's beautifully written, and its language is very simple. The man in the story reminds me of you. He was an old man who... <laughs> he was an old man who fished alone in a skiff in the Gulf Stream. And he had gone 84 days now without taking a fish. Poor fellow. Good, son. Can you hear the groans? I'm the one cost us not making it to state. No, oh, don't take it so hard. You're not the only one on the team that costs points today. No, but... I don't know, Daddy. Down in Muhlenberg, a race was just a race. Up here, it's all I got running. Well, then, maybe you ought to put a little more time in on it. I know nothing's harder than thinking you've just blown the only one good thing you got going for you, but you got more than one good thing going for you, son. You got that team party tonight. That'll yeah. cheer you up. Not me, not now. Besides, it'd be more like a wake. Everybody will... 
Look, I got other plans, Daddy. I'm studying at, at a guy's house, okay? He's in my history class. Yeah, finals are coming up. Station, but uh, Ted here said you didn't have a phone, so I decided to bring him home and make sure you knew about it. Thanks, officer. You better know, too. Those kids were drinking Boilermakers. Thanks. I thought you were studying. I'm sorry, Dad. You said you were going to be studying. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I said look at me when I'm talking to you. Joy riding. What kind of word is joy riding? Lying to me? Drinking? You know what I ought to do to you, Ted? I'm sorry, Dad. I... Go to bed. be blind. Yes, it's my handwriting. What does that matter? Everybody writes different except me. I don't hardly write at all. So? You know how to read, don't you? He. How you like old Santiago in, in this book, huh? I like him okay, I guess, if I could get past five pages in a day's time. You listen to me. You gotta think what you can do, not what you can't. If I do that, I, I'd not be here in Cincinnati w with a pride and all of this. Hey, if I think like that any time in my 65 years, I'd be back in Italy a long time ago. In your America, there is no room for people to say only what they can't do. Sal, so, my people have been in this country 200 years. I'm what they came down to. Watch for a break in, a break in the, the traffic, the traffic. Then move quiet, quick, quietly. No, quickly. Move quickly into the flow of traffic. Of course it's quickly. That's one of the easy ones. I know that word. Oh, yes, you've only been at this for two weeks. You postpone this test. Or at least take it orally. You know this material backwards. No way. I'm not about to tell one more soul that I can't read. I just don't think I can handle it. Oh, who cares about anybody else? You're the one that matters. That's all. And this is wrong. You're pushing yourself way too hard. You should take it slowly. And be planning to go to high school. You could be studying history and literature, not a driver's manual. Jess, there's a summer school that has a remedial reading class, and you're almost ready for it. In the fall, you could enter the ninth grade. I don't think you understand at all. Maybe nobody understands except people like us, like me. I can't help but think that maybe, maybe I can just learn so much and then I can't learn anymore. 
Maybe I can just go so far, and then I can't go any farther. Of course you can. And it's crazy what you said about high school. You know, I can just see me going home telling Ted and Jen, say, hey, guess what? Your daddy's in the ninth grade. Yeah. You're such a proud man. And so full of promise. You've come so far, Jess. You don't have to explain anything. Well, sleep. I gotta go or they'll be closed. Okay. All right? Bye. Knock him dead. Yes, I, I come to say something. For courage, courage. You have fewer years than me, more strength. Same intelligence, same pride. We go good together. No, Jess. If you want, we make a good future. You and me. This is what I come to say. Sal, I might never be doing anything up here but love. No, it's, it's not true. I gotta but... tell you, if this doesn't work out, the kid's just soon to go back to Kentucky. And... Hey, you want to kill yourself with a cold? Sure, cold. Your son, you want him to grow up just like you? And your daughter, I tell you, she'll marry some Shoko, a fool like her father. Hey, hey, take it easy. You okay? Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. All right? Yeah. So, about my kids, I figure they're so far ahead of me that they're bound to go their own way, not mine. But however it works out. Thanks a lot. Buona fortuna. Ma'am, I was... I wonder if I could take the test orally because I don't... I don't read good enough to take it written. You have to make an appointment for that, sir. And bring with you some proof of your illiteracy. It can be a letter from your minister, your doctor, or a school official. You trying to tell me I gotta show proof of something that I've been denying all my life? Well, we can't give that spatial service to everyone. license, sir. I need your driver's license, sir. 
You got somebody you can call to drive the truck home for you? No, I'll take a bus. I think I've got just about enough left for that. Up to you. The charge is ten bucks a day for impounded vehicles. Call Sal Gallucci. Gallucci's warehouse. Five? No, he's got heart trouble. Pay phone. By the way, you could take that test orally, you know. <laughs> Sorry to get you out this time of night. Thanks for coming. Sure. I'm driving. But I'm... This went wrong too, huh, Jeff? You can take it again, you know. Clear up that ticket, give Jen a couple of days out of the hospital, then me and the kids are moving back to Kentucky. You can't. Oh, yes, I can. I can go home. I can work the coal. You can't talk to me about working coal. You taught me everything I can learn, Marion. I thank you very much. Don't thank me. Just don't turn back. Don't quit. Everything's just opening up for you.
Can you own yet? Not yet. Riding the bus makes him late. Has all week. You did that, Mad? Yeah, the pits. I'm hoping maybe since you're here, he won't get so mad. You know how Daddy always does making us read the whole report card out loud. These days, he ain't been a whole lot of fun. He's okay with me. Except the last week or so. That's because you never do anything wrong. He spanked me last year, didn't he? And I was already turned ten and a half. Home early, huh? Good. Because... So I don't have to hear about it for the next umpteen years. Three tickets to a Reds game. For September. When Jenny comes back to get her cast changed. So, how's the report card? <clears throat> that bad, huh? They flunked me out. I told you, Daddy. At least I tried after the last meet. Running's all I got going for me. It's just like it was when we first got here. They say I gotta go back to ninth grade. Hey, they don't have to know about this down in Muhlenberg, do they? I was scheduled to be a, a junior back there. Now, hold on. Hold on, Ted. The principal said you might not get promoted, but putting you back? What'd you do, get all Fs or something? No, I got a, um, I got an A in gym and I got a D in math. I don't understand it. I've seen you in your books. Look, it's all a bunch of gobbledygook anyhow, Daddy. Who cares about history? Anyhow, we're going back to Muhlenberg. Wait a minute. You got a D in arithmetic, right? But in biology, geography, history, English, everything you gotta know how to read for, you fail. Sit down. Go on, hop to it. Your mama's Bible. Now find me the 40th Psalm. What for? Don't argue, just do it. Read it to me. Daddy, you know I can read. Just read it. Uh, uh, wait, wait, and... Pat, uh, Patty, Pat, Pat. Patiently. I waited patiently for the Lord. And, uh, <coughs> he, in, uh, in, increased. Inclined. You're putting words in the Bible that are not there. Read on. Um. And and heard my my cry. He he brought me up also also out out of an hor horrible pit out of the me. Uh, he brought me also up out of an horrible pit out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock. Cause you got it memorized. You bet I got it memorized. Come back here. Why should I? You can't read for beans anyway. He can, too. He reads to me all the time. How long have you known? Always. I thought I did. Mama did the farm books, and you paid cash for everything because you couldn't. Wouldn't write a check. A lot of folks down home figured it out that way. The way we fool ourselves all my life, all the lies. But you do read to me, Daddy. Just lately, honey. Before that, I, I couldn't. The truth of the matter is, I've been taking reading lessons ever since we came up here, working harder at it than I ever did anything in my whole life. And I swear, in two months, in just two months, I read better than you do. You think it's shameful going back to that junior high school? The shame of it all is that they would even take you back in the ninth grade reading like you do. Maybe you lost.
lost a lot of respect for your daddy up here. Maybe you don't look up to me like I'd like for you to. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm going to fix it so you can always look up to yourself. up to you, but you got to know it's a poverty trade. And right here and now, you could be digging yourself a hole in the bottom of a mountain that you're never going to climb back up out of. Well, not me and not my boy. We're going to high school and we're going on to graduate and nobody or nothing's going to stop us. We're going to learn to read. Jacob, Freeman, Joanne, Graham, Peter, Callum, Jesse, here, Callum, Theodore, here, Harrison, Ruth. I'm just an old chunk of coal now, Lord, but I'm gonna be a diamond someday. Thank uh you. -huh. 